this can be very difficult to learn to pilot and it's going to take me a lot more than just the last three minutes that I've been in this suit. So let me go ahead and turn around now. I'm trying to focus here folks, you can see my face kind of aiming downwards. So there we are, the suit is suspending itself. As you can see here, my shoulders are not touching in there at all. It's holding itself up. We can go ahead and drop that all the way down to the ground here. I'm gonna have to use both feet. One thing about this I noticed, these wireless wind controllers don't work at the same time. So you can only use one foot at a time. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull my shoulders back out. I'm hunched all the way over. Let's go ahead and lift ourselves up with it. And once again, like I said, I can only do one leg at a time. Otherwise, the wireless winch controllers don't work. So not what you want to use if you want to do dual motions at the same time, obviously. This makes this very difficult to show this machine in operation. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do a curl. And the same over here. So there's our hands in operation now. They obviously do work. And because they're wired controls, I can move them both at the same time instead of independent from each other like the other ones, which kind of sucks on the feet. I was hoping that those would work a lot better and they ended up working. Okay, so now one of the things I want to do, I've got the suit kind of set up in a pretty balanced location here. I'm kind of checking it out. I want to do the same thing I did on the first suit test, and that's free suspend my entire body weight minus maybe one toe in the suit. Let's see if I can get out of the suit. I don't have any cables holding this thing up. The only balance to the suit is me, so this could kind of fall out of my hands here, but I wanted to show you the capability of the suit to keep its own balance. Good thing these are quick release. Well, supposed to be quick release. There you go. And there you go. And I'm gonna take one foot out, the other foot out of the suit. As long as I kind of hold it up, you'll notice the suit's holding itself up now. That's not too bad for a homemade system made out of basically kind of junk from my junk pile. So let me go ahead and hop back in it again. A little trickier to get in it than it is to get out of it. Almost got me there. All right. So I, that should be a pretty good demonstration of the suit's ability to hold itself up and that it's also rather balanced. Very little was needed for me to do that. All right, so the next one of these was to hold all my body weight up. Let's go ahead and pull that foot out. I'm gonna try to suspend myself once again in the suit like that. So once again, there we go, folks. I'm trying to get, let me see, I'm gonna lift my leg up real quick so you can see all my body weight is in the suit. So there you go. Let me go ahead and put my feet back in. There we go. So if you had any questions on whether the suit was able to support somebody on its own or itself, that should have put those questions to rest. 